Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, I'm Ashley. I have seven kiddos and we have been homeschooling. This will be going on our um, fourth year of homeschooling. My oldest is going into seventh and then I have um, a, my second one's going into fourth and then first and then kinder and then one that's kind of in but not quite pre-k we started doing some simple things like shapes and um colors and things like that this year but not quite pre-k so we will do one more year of kind of learning those things getting used to those things and then um next 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 year we will do pre-k and then i have a one-year-old and an eight-month-old so a lot of kids a lot of stuff going on over here um okay but this video is going to be about my incoming seventh grader so we have had a struggle with math um, from the very beginning, uh, as far as homeschool is concerned. Um, we, he was in public school, um, did a private preschool and then kinder through third, he was in public school. So fourth grade is when he started homeschooling. Um, math was a little bit of, um, um, difficult at times for him. And so finding a good curriculum was hard. Um, we started doing, we, did a lot of things. We did um, um, math, I'm trying to remember the name of it, Envision Math, um, which is what they used at school. Um, we did, I can't even remember what we did in between. We did a lot of different stuff. Um, what I find, what I found worked this past year for sixth grade was Go Math. It is something they would be doing in public school. Um, I really liked it. Um, the problem was that um, it was all me teaching it, which is fine. Um, I, my strong point is algebra. My not strong point is geometry. So when it came to geometry, I was like, oh, like I just cringed. Um, but I didn't want to do a, a um, like a class where he had to sit down at the computer at a certain time every day. I didn't want to do a distance learning yet. Um, we weren't at that point. So um, it worked for us, um, but I wanted to try something a little different. So I am trying this year, this coming year, the Matthew C pre-algebra. We have not used Matthew C before at all. Um, the bundle that I got, I can't remember, it was not the most expensive bundle. It did not have all of the little manipulatives and things like that. Um, for Now, if I was doing young, my younger kids for math, with this, I probably would, um, but we're doing something different. So um, I wanted to try this. I am excited to try this. So what this comes with, um, most importantly, is the DVD. So this will have, to my understanding, I have not opened the DVD, but this is what it says it has. Um, this is basically the, this person right here, um, teaching the lesson on a DVD. So it can you can do it at your own pace, but it's somebody else teaching it. Um, now, with that being said, it comes with, this is what I just picked up, it comes with an instruction manual. So let's say that you want to do the DVD for some parts, and you want to do the instruction manual for some parts. You can do that. Um, it tells you, gives you a short lesson. So let's see. So for example, let me see. Oh, geometry. I do not like you. Um, absolute value, for example. It tells you, gives you a little blurb about what, you know, what it is. Um, kind of a teaching introduction to it, if you will. And then it shows you some examples and then that's pretty much it. So let's say it's something that you are, you can under that you are good at teaching this particular thing. Let's say you're good at teaching absolute value, but you're not so good at teaching ratio and proportion. Um, it gives you that option. So it says here <clears throat> on the back of the DVD, there are three key components in the Matthew C program. The DVD and instruction manual for each level provides the training for the teacher and the student. Also, you can use this to your advantage if there's something that you want to teach them and you want to understand too, maybe you forgot it, it's been a few years, 
um, you can watch the DVD and see how they teach it here. Also, the blocks, inserts, and fraction overlays are used through Algebra 1 to enable the students to see and understand the concepts of math. Um, I did not get that um, for him. Um, I don't know if he'd necessarily use it. He's more of, um, if he's more like me, as far as you tell him what to do step by step, and that's all he needs. There's not really like a, I don't need anything visual, like any manipulatives to understand the concept. Now, some kids need that. Um, he does not. So if when my other kids get to this level, if I'm still using this particular one, um, then I will play it by ear and see if, if that's something I need to get. But for right now, I did not order that. Um, and then the student text provides practice, review, and real life application so each topic can be internalized and mastered. So it's basically just somebody else teaching it without the um, having to sit at a computer at a certain time on a certain day. Um, I know distance learning is very popular and some people like that. I just can't commit to, I mean, that's why I homeschool, right? I can't commit to doing that, sitting, being available at that time. And I feel like if I can do it this way and do it more on my own with maybe a little bit of help from somebody on a DVD, then I'm going to do that. So that's what that DVD is. Um, the instruction manual, like I showed you, it literally has one page um, or a front and a back. Um, some of these actually have more. This one has a little bit more. Place value has a little bit more. So some, depending, um, have a little bit longer of a lesson and some are shorter. And then um, it has, let me see. Does it have the answer key or the review? Yes. So it has the, the answers in the back for um, the actual work that they'll do. So it comes with that. It comes with, here's the student workbook. It is, you know, at his level at seventh grade, you're not going to have super colorful pictures for math. Um, I don't know. It's, it's just, that's just, you're just not going to have it. So, um, as far as the lessons themselves, I'm trying to see here. So they basically have, it looks like two lessons or two little, let me see if it has in the front here, a, so you can do the test. It has the test if you want to do this. Um, here in Texas, we are not required to do, to test, to turn in grades. Um, any checkpoints, nothing. So it is up to you. I like them to do, you know, chapter checkpoints or things in there that I don't record their grades, but I check it. And as long as I can see that they understand it, I'm good with that. I do not sit there and grade number grade, letter grade, anything like that. I do not do that. So right now I will obviously, you know, come high school, but for right now, I'm not doing that. So they have, um, so like this will say 3A and it has the lesson, you know, the, um, the problems here and then it goes to 3B. So it has two separate um, little sections that you can do if you need additional practice. If they do 3A and they understand that and they master it, then I say you're done with that section, move on. Um, so that is that. And then it comes with the test. So what I will do is I will probably just have them do, have him do this just as an understanding and make sure that he gets it. We go over, if I, when I check it, if he gets something wrong, we go over it and I let him know why he got it wrong, if he got it wrong. So that is the most important thing to me um, because I'm not required to do actual grades right now. That's how I feel like I just want him to be able to understand it and master it and come to me if he has questions or, you know, and not freak out because it's a test and I'm going to grade it and it's going to go on like his permanent record. Um, now, in high school, obviously, that will be different. Grades will be required. Um, I will get to that when I get to that. Not now. So lesson test, it's basically a front and a back. Um, and that's it. And so it has the answer key there. So that is just kind of a quick flip through of the Matthew C pre-algebra. He will be going into seventh grade. Um, and because he will be doing, he would be doing pre-algebra, um, we have started a little bit with Go Math, 
but not enough. It's not like the course. It was not called pre-algebra in public school. So now going into seventh grade, it would be pre-algebra. Um, so that is that. I'm excited to use this. I will let you know how he does with this um, and, you know, see if this is something that I think I will continue. I know for a fact going into the higher math grades um, because I'm not a math whiz, but I do like algebra. Um, going into higher grades, this will be the plan. So um, that will be what we're going to be doing regardless in whether it's this one, this particular curriculum with Matthew C or not. Um, I will not be teaching it strictly by myself. So let me know if you've used it. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, let me know down below and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.